In 2020, United Way started a diversity, equity, and inclusion committee. I wanted to be I I wanted to be on the committee because as as I saw the events unfolding during the summer of 2020, I knew that that there was something that that I could do, and and. I knew that I needed to make some changes for myself, but I knew that there was a way that, that I could get involved and um, be a part of, of something broader um, to do something for our community as a whole. I didn't know what that was, but I told myself the first opportunity that presents itself that I think would be, that would be a good fit where I could contribute, I'm going to do. No excuses, no, you know, this is, I'm going to do it. And so when, um, when United Way started this committee and asked me to be a part of it, I knew that, that that's, that's where I needed to spend my time. As one of 23 partner agencies, when I think about the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion work to the work that we do each and every day, it is so critical um, that we begin to have a lens that lends itself to our clients and to be able to be a part of an organization who is in the forefront um, of these courageous conversations is even more important. As, as chair of the committee, um, which it, it's, it's, it's been an honor uh, so far as we've, as we've progressed and, and we've kind of uh, solidified the, the membership on the committee and we've invited people uh, from the community to be a part of the committee as well. Um, you know, our, our goals are, first of all, to promote anti-racism, uh, to, to, to talk about what it means to be an anti-racist. Um, and then just in, in a probably the more concise um, part of what we're doing is, is to promote education um, thereby promoting awareness about what is going on in in our community and and around the country. And I think the more people know about that, uh, the more it's going to spill over. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, people don't really care what I think, um, but but they but they see what I do and they see how I act. And hopefully that'll spill over into other board members. It'll spill over into our partner agencies. Um, and maybe some folks will be able to take some of these, uh, these issues home with them and, and, and talk about things with their kids in a different way that I was taught to. Conversations around the dinner table are different than what they were when I was a kid. And, um, and through that, you know, those, those things are then taken to the workplace, to the schools, to churches. And, and, and through that, hopefully, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to think that, that we will see a, a, you know, the temperature coming down, the, the, the um, compassion rising, <laughs> and, and that we can, we can begin to, to reconcile um, a lot of things that up until this point, in my opinion, have just been swept under the rug. As a community partner, I think about the clients that we serve each and every day. I think about their stories, I think about the communities they come into, I think about their social economic status, and I think about what does it mean when we think about what are barriers for individuals. What are some of the um, impediments as well as disparities that they're facing? And to be able to think about that also along the lines of diversity, equity, and inclusion, it is so crucial for the work that we do. When you think about our clients, they are diverse in every way. As a community partner, we have to think about how do we best serve them? and in a way that lends itself to being very open around the work that we do. Diversity, equity, inclusion is more than just three letters. It is more than just about race and ethnicity. It's more about age. It's about gender. It's about diversity of thought. It's not only about how do we include that in for our, our clients, 
but it's who's working in our organizations. It's who are we serving in our community. And when we can have a lens that lends itself to thinking about how do we embed diversity, equity, inclusion into the very fabrics of our organizations, into our culture, and not only our culture as organizations, as community partners, but to the community as a whole. You know, diversity is not just about an organization. It's not only about the Lubbock Area United Way. It's about the community as a whole. It says, who do I value? What do I value? And why do I value you? I think more importantly, to be able to be a community partner and to be able to see individuals. And not just see them as um, from a gender perspective or a race perspective or able-bodied or not. It's to say, be able to say, I see you, I accept you for where you're at, and I'm still here to serve you regardless. And I think being able to have a diversity lens that lends itself to say we value all people, we value where you come from, we value your first language, and more importantly that we want to include you into a space, in a space that makes people feel like they're belonging. So overall when we begin to do this work, it is so crucial for our partner agencies and our community to think about how do we just be, how does this become embedded in our culture? How does this become embedded in our mission? And that it's so intentional. And if I could just say that so many times is that the work that we do every day for so many community partners, we do work that's so intentional, but DEI has to be just as intentional. The steps that the committee is taking are really to first to look internally. To, to look at our board and to look at our staff. Um, we've updated our uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion policy, and we've also um, made a new anti-racist statement. These things are on our website, and uh, we would invite anyone to, to go and to, to look at those. With these tools, the, the committee is, is going to be able to not only further educate uh, the board and the staff on the issues that are that are facing our community, but it's also going to go out to the community partners, and we will be able to work with them, both their staffs and their board, on not only uh, their DEI and anti-racist statements, uh, but to work on on educating um, people as well. As a community partner, our mission through the Lubbock Area United Way is to provide hope. It is where I hope for each and every community partner, for every client, and it is so crucial for us to do that through the lens of diversity, equity, and inclusion. The Lubbock area community, we see you and we hear you.